Breakers Collection by Cubite is out and it brings back some classic 2D fighting game goodness straight from the 90s with new modes, online matches and awesome extras. The two games included are Breakers, released in the arcades in 1996, and Breakers Revenge from 1998 which is not really that much of a sequel, but rather an update in the style of the Street Fighter 2 updates that will come every year during the 90s. The second game adds the character Saizo and most importantly makes the final boss from the first game playable via cheat codes. I'm talking about Bai Hu, overpowered, hard and frustrating to beat, but so, so much fun to play as. Now, the Breakers collection actually allows you to select him from the start in Breakers Revenge, but only for the training mode and the team battle mode. However, one of the achievements or trophies actually asks you to beat the arcade mode with him. So, how is it done? There is actually no way of selecting him in single player. Well then, how do we do it? So, elation and jubilation gamers from all around the world. I am Lucian and this is the World Gamer Show. And today I'm going to explain you how to play as Bai Hu in Breakers Revenge and get the trophy Path of Bai Hu in the Breakers Collection. So, as I've previously mentioned, there is no actual way to select by who while in single player mode. But this doesn't mean we can't actually select him in the arcade mode. What you will need to pull this off is two controllers, as by who becomes selectable through a cheat code that is only available when two players are in the character select screen. This means that both versus and arcade modes can do. However, if you want to go for the Path of Bai Hu trophy, you will need to select the arcade mode. But let's go step by step. So first, connect your second controller to your console. Then go to arcade mode in Breakers Revenge. Remember, this doesn't work in the original Breakers. Then press Start on the second controller so that this message appears. Finally, press Up on the D-pad on both controllers simultaneously. I repeat, both players need to press up at the same time. It is a little finicky, so in case you don't succeed at your first try, simply try over and over by repeatedly tapping up on both controllers at the same time. I promise it will eventually work. And it also needs to be the directional button up, not the analog stick. And voila! By who is now selectable on the far right of the screen, as if by magic, or rather, by cheat code. <laughs> now you simply beat the opponent controlled by the other controller and since this is not the versus mode but rather the arcade mode, if you selected it at the beginning, now the game will simply carry on in the arcade mode. Simply beat the crap out of everybody in your way and the trophy will be yours. And again, this guy to say is overpowered is an understatement. This guy is a beast and his special moves are also so, so easy to pull off as they don't really require a sequence of buttons like the usual Adokens, but rather the simple press of two or three buttons at the same time. Like to launch the fire column, simply press the two kicks at the same time. Now it will be a piece of cake to finish the arcade mode with him and get the Path of Bai Hu achievement or trophy or whatever. It's a pleasure to breeze through the game with him and I'm so glad it is selectable. So yeah guys, that will do for this video. This time was shorter, but I still wanted to do it, to help as many of you as I could, since it is a little tricky to get to play as by who, but in my opinion, it is really worth it. And really, the whole Breakers collection is worth it. A true retro hidden gem, now available for every modern console thanks to Cubite and Visco. But guys, now I want to know your opinion. Are you playing the Breakers collection? Do you plan to pick it up now? Did you even know of its existence? If so, hats off to you, you're a true fighter. 
so why not head down in the comment section and share your thoughts or memories of the game. And since you're here, if you enjoyed the video and want to help a small channel grow, maybe you could leave a like and share the video around and subscribe. It's all free, it won't take much time to you, but it will mean the world to me. Indeed, I also want to take the time to thank all my subscribers for the constant support that I receive. It's also a pleasure to see that the family is growing bigger and bigger, and as they say, the more the merrier. So thank you again for sticking to the end of this video, I will be seeing you in my next one, but until then, stay safe, play safe world gamers.